Love the cover art. It takes me back to the adventure. Experience, smiles, chuckles, and a bit of suspense and joy. I'd li I would like to have that, quote, feel good, glad I read this, quote, thing at the end of the book, end of a book. I enjoyed the diversity of the per personalities of the characters. Could easily envision them as well as how each one talked. The storyline holds true for all of us, no matter our age. Looking forward to sharing this with family and friends. There's another one? There's another one. There's two. Hmm. Two. A book meant for children along with deeper rivers of thought that, keep, that keeps the adult mind searching for answers. Filled with barnyard humor, a loving family, adventure, and danger. Brutus, the family St. Bernard's, Bravery shines through as he helps to make B a highly pedigreed rabbit, a highly pedigreed rabbit's dream come true, to see the masters mourn. Through the series of mishaps, they find themselves in danger, but several come to their rescue, including Puzzle, the family donkey. After a bit of literary license, the story resol resolves and leaves you wanting more. Can't wait to read it to the grandchildren. Highly recommended. Oh, <laughs> those are reviews? Those are reviews of what? what? What are they reviews of? Brad's new book. Yeah. The Adventures of Brutus and Bee. Mm -hmm. yep. The Masters Mourn. Yep. Those are two reviews of people that got the book before we, the author and editor, <laughs> even got the actual real book. They right. got their physical books mm -hmm. where we only have the not for resale ones. The, the uh, author's proof copies. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Those are some amazing uh -huh. comments. Yes. And I'm just blown away. I'm giddy. And I don't use that word lightly. No, 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 no. I'm giddy with joy that they enjoyed it so much. I'm just so, it's so funny and amazing all at the same time that Amazon can take a file that we sent them, filled out all their stuff on computer, and then we get this saying, hey, check this to make sure everything's good. We make the changes. We order our copies. Those people ordered their copies and got them before we did. Yeah. Read it and made a review yeah. That's unbelievable. And the book was just released on this past Monday, five days ago. So, you guys know what we've been talking about. This is The Adventures of Brutus. And B. And B. Krista did the artwork. I, well, I don't draw, but I, I made artwork. <laughs> it was awesome. Mm -hmm. and but you read, you wrote the story. That I cannot do. Well, we work together. Yes. So, yeah, well, I mean, I, I guess I'm an, I'm an author. Yes, you're a published <laughs> author. <laughs> Tennis Buffy. <laughs> Tea for two later. <laughs> it's funny. It is funny. Um, I never thought I would write a, a book. I've written music, uh, done plenty of editing, production, video, everything. But writing a book always seemed so Daunting. foreign, yeah. scary. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, I, I feel like we are in people that, okay, let me say it this way. People that are aware of society's shift away from traditional God centered values, people that are aware of that, you can <laughs> see what the problem is. Mm -hmm. And the issue is that even if you waved a magic wand on society right now and you said, okay, I want everybody who's an adult to stop with the craziness that's going on, you have still a bunch of youth that are already in that thought process mm -hmm. that are coming up and that will be in leadership and adult roles very soon. So the only way that you can really combat that kind of stuff, obviously outside of God, yeah. but here and now, is by going after young minds and showing them good stories about high moral character, friendship, um, sacrifice, there's a cat right there, sacrifice, um, being the best friend, 
bravery in, in the face of danger. And the way I felt like needed to be done, it needed to be entertaining yes. for kids well, and adults. Mm -hmm. And also to convey the allegorical story of several different points that are in scripture. Yeah. I learned from the best. C.S. Lewis and Tolkien and all these guys who used allegory to communicate the gospel message while still entertaining, that's, that's what I was shooting for. Mm -hmm. And here it is. Yep. There you it is. can get it. You can. You can get it on Amazon. There's a link in the description box. Uh, it's in print form and ebook. Um, I love the print form, though. This is, I love this font. It's a, absolutely it's, it's love what they it. call a chapter book. Uh huh. It is a chapter book. There's 12 chapters and it's a good size. The, the, the font is a good size for little kids. And as, for people with bad vision. And people with bad vision. Yeah. I can read this easily without my glasses. I have sunglasses on that are not prescription. Here's a kitty. That's a kitty. This that's, is Nala's that's, mom. That's Jet. She's a sweetheart. Nala's mom. Nala's in the book. Nala is in the book. Actually, show them at the at the end. There are pictures oh, of yes. the actual base. Ba these pictures. almost all of the characters in this book. Hey. Well, cat hey. pumping on the thing. Check that out. Almost hey. all of the characters that are in this book are based on actual animals that we either have or know. Yep. So what do we got? We got oh. We have Brutus, Brutus. and B, and then we have Puzzle, Daisy, Nala, Whiskey, Sela, and Nana. Well, and that's Jet. And Jet is, yes, her mama. Jet is Nala's mom. They are very different cats. Very different cats. So here's the thing, ladies and gents. This is great for communicating mm -hmm. all of those traits, the traditional values, without coming on as preachy. Right. It's right. not like that. Nope. It's it, even, it, I'll tell you this, even if you're not a believer, you could read this thing and go, wow, what a cute, awesome, great mm -hmm. story for kids. Yes. Or even adults. Yes. But if you are a believer, you can see a lot of biblical allegory in here. Mm -hmm. It's all over. Well, and there's all of the different uh, animals, the characters in the book have different attributes, different personalities. Um, and I, I think that is fantastic. I love that. What? Uh, Ooh, okay. No, no. I'm asking you first. What? What character do you most, um, uh, not resemble, but, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? I don't know. Which one, which, which character do you think you are most like? Oh. Sorry. That's, oh. I was trying to, I was drawing a blank. Well, I had the lady that wrote one of those reviews. Her name is Moni and mm -hmm. she's got a, a YouTube channel called Moments with Moni, and I would check it out. Mm -hmm. She interviewed me, and I, so I have a little sneak on, I kind of had an idea on what I was going to say. Yeah. And I think I identify mostly with this guy right here. <laughs> right here. Why? Because Brutus is a true blue, ready, fire, aim kind of guy who maybe not be the smartest thing, maybe not the sharpest Attack, but boy oh boy he knows what friendship is mm -hmm. and he knows what loyalty is mm -hmm. and he will excuse me go to the ends of the earth for you yep absolutely so what about you there sister who, well, who would you identify the most with in the so, book or or your favorite character sure well my favorite character is Selah because she's my horse and I think I, and I think at for, when I, at first I was thinking that I kind of was, I was most like Nana where I'm afraid at first and very timid and, you know, apprehensive, but then, you know, go on full, full, full bore. Right. But then I was like, nah, I don't know. I like Sayla in the book because, you know, she's kind of in charge. Hmm. <laughs> The boss's wife she's, says so. The boss's wife says in, in so. In the book. Yes. The boss's wife right. says so, so right. she's in charge of the exactly. barn. Exactly, exactly. So she's in charge of the barn and she's, you know, always saying, you know, you need to calm down now. You need to calm down now. And I feel like that's who I am. I'm always telling the kids and Brad to, no. I'm always telling the kids to calm down. <laughs> who do you think the silliest character is? Oh, Nala for sure. 
The cat. Oh, absolutely. Don't don't give it away. I won't. No, I wasn't going to. Absolutely, Nala, hands down. I'm trying to think of how I can describe her without giving it away. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. She's just. Uh, Let's just say Nala she's has crazy. a. F a few wobbly wheels. She does. Up in the noodle of hers. Definitely has a few wobbly wheels, yes. So, the, okay. This is not simply a commercial, okay? No, not at all. Honestly, the reason why I even wanted to do the video is the same reason I wanted to do the book. And that's yeah. this. I want you guys to consider doing something that you feel like will be good for traditional conservatism. For, oh. oh, that's the cat. Right there. You silly girl. For, I guess we'll do it like this. That'll be fine. So, that I want you to consider doing for con conservatism, traditional family values. Maybe it's outside of your realm. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the kind of thing where you're like, I can't write a book. I, what do I do? I felt that way. But here's the deal. If you feel like things are slipping away from us in society and things are getting a little bit weirder and weirder, ironically, huh? Yeah. Weirder and weirder, then only you can actually help with that. Mm -hmm. Only you can. Because nobody else is going to do it if you don't step up. True. True. If you continue to just let, let all of the nonsense push you around and let it walk all over you. Well, then you're wasting opportunity. Yes. I was going to say time, but that's not the best way to say it. You're wasting opportunity because even if you're out there, like let's say that you're a grandma mm -hmm. and you're saying, well, I, I can food and I'm at home and I know how to bake things. Well, that's an incredible opportunity to share that knowledge of solid core family stuff Absolutely. with the next generation. Absolutely. Everybody can do something, mm -hmm. but you got to get off your butt. Yes. And stop saying, but. But derriere. I, think, I know. I think it's that way. Now that I'm officially a pastor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I no, I really am. Yeah, he really is. Do I have to stop saying but now? Not if you're using it as a... Um, no, I mean but. Like, get off your butt. Conjunction. I think so. I really do mean get off your butt and stop saying but. Derriere. Show them the book, because right now people are burning their subscriptions. Oops. Here's the book. Where can they find it? On Amazon or on our website. Uh, you can get the ebook or the print copy on Amazon. Links are in the, in the description box. Or if you would like a signed copy. By Brutus. By, oh, that would be messy. <laughs> um, you can order them on our website at bigfamilyhomestead.com forward slash shop. Or Amazon. Or and Amazon. Here, and, and thank you, but here, yeah. oh, she took off. Kick the cat her. decided to just terrorize and then leave. Right over here underneath my well, chair. Well, there we go. She's a, well, okay. So, hey, you guys have an awesome and blessed day. Bye.